today's video, I'm doing another ultimate Ikea bedroom makeover. My last video that I did, you guys absolutely loved it. It was just to kind of give you guys an idea and some inspiration on how you could decorate your room on a budget. So after that video went live, I got to work and I designed out what my dream bedroom would be. And when I added up how much all of the furniture and things that I picked out were gonna cost, I realized, it was not practical. So I thought, why not challenge myself to head on over to Ikea and create that dream bedroom that I've always wanted, but budget friendly because we all know I'm eventually one day do want to buy a house. So I need to save as much money as I possibly can. And I thought it would be another video you guys would absolutely enjoy. So let's head on over to Ikea and start picking some things out. back from Ikea I just wanted to share with you guys a little before of what the space looks like that we are working with today and I'm gonna start off assembling and bringing in some of the furniture to the room all right so as you guys can see I already brought in the dresser however I still need to assemble the drawers so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now that way that corner piece of furniture is completed For the first Ikea hack, we are using a little lantern as well as a piece of Ikea's faux greenery. This piece in particular is my absolute favorite, but I'm actually gonna turn this lantern into a hanging planter, as you will see right now. So all you have to do is remove this outer piece of the little lantern, and that is how you actually put the candle inside. However, I'm going to put this little faux greenery piece inside because it kind of hangs down and I'm just going to hang it from the ceiling. What's also cool is you could always use this piece and cover like a larger candle with it and then when it burns it's going to illuminate the little holes onto the wall so that's probably what I'll use this for. So also in this space right here I did want to add a mirror and I went ahead and got this particular mirror from Ikea and that is going to be our next little hack. All you're going to need for this DIY is this decorative nail head trim. This comes in different colors and it's basically going to make the mirror look like a studded mirror piece. I actually, for my first ever IKEA hack on this channel years ago, used this to create a coffee table. So I'll link that down below. But you'll see once I open it, it's basically a trim that will just go along the edges here and you just use a hammer to nail it in. It's pretty simple. Basically all you have to do is measure out how much you're going to need for each side of the mirror. And it's pretty simple. Once you know how much you're going to need on that particular side, you can just bend this back and forth and it just kind of comes apart eventually. Now all you have to do is take the little nails that come within the pack and that is exactly how you are going to attach it to the mirror or anything. This is great to add to just spice up pretty much any furniture piece. So as you can see, the last one here has um, the little hole and we're just gonna nail this in. Obviously be really careful because this is a mirror. We do not want to crack the mirror. So you're just going to repeat the same exact process for each side of the mirror. So this is what the completed mirror looks like. I definitely think adding the trim gave it more of like a vintage vibe and I just placed it on top of the mom dresser and then I'm gonna add a few more things on the top of the dresser as well. And then for this back corner of my room, I'm just gonna add in this giant seven foot tall big tree that I already had. I'm just gonna place this into the corner probably about right there. This is actually going to be our next Ikea hack. It's the nightstand that I chose. However, I wanted to do something fun for the handles. 
I picked these up from Ikea. They actually sell different handles if you want to switch out the original ones. However, I want this leather piece or faux leather piece to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to try and soak it in some fabric dye and see if we can get it a little bit darker. So in this bucket, I just ran some super hot water and then I'm going to add in this chocolate brown writ dye to the solution. And then I'm going to add in the little handles and honestly hope for the best. I've never tried dyeing something like this before, so we will see how it turns out. So I allowed these to soak overnight, actually just because I wanted to assure they picked up all of the dye and it worked exactly how I wanted it to. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and attach these to the actual piece now. So now that I've got these attached to the drawers, I did want to mention that this picked up the fabric dye so well, you could honestly use like a pink, a green, any color like blue, whatever you wanted on these, and I'm pretty sure it would absorb all of that dye. So keep that in mind, you can customize those and make them any color you want. I recommend getting all the glass pieces IKEA offers for the top of your furniture. It's just going to help preserve it. So I got this one for my nightstand. It does come with little holes to secure it. However, I'm gonna wait and do that later. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. For the next IKEA hack, I'm going to be using this decorative ring from the newer IKEA collection. This is a pendant light kit that I got from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. And then lastly, I'm just using this little industrial light bulb. To assemble it, it looks like you just take the base here and then the ring actually has like a little screwdriver in it and you just kind of screw the top piece on to the bottom. It is literally that simple to get this little decor piece all put together. So all I'm doing is attaching the pendant light kind of towards the top and then I'm just going to loop the rope through and around and just kind of secure it that way. So it kind of has the rope detailing going on down one side. You're not gonna be able to make it go down both sides, but I still think it will look good going down one side. Now for the last step, all you have to do is add in your light bulb and I would suggest using a light bulb like this. Again, I'll link it down below. Something a little bit more industrial just kind of makes that piece and then lastly, all you have to do is switch on your new little lamp. I think this turned out so well and it was super affordable. Then to tie everything together on this side of the room, I did go ahead and add in a few pieces that aren't from Ikea. So the piece of artwork above the bed is actually a home goods find. I found it once and I've actually never seen it there again. So I'll try and find something similar and link that down below. As far as the bed goes, I knew I wanted to add a little bit more texture and different pillows. So I added in these amazing linen shams that I found on Amazon for such a good deal. You need to buy them. They sell it really quickly, so highly would recommend those. The other pillows are from West Elm and then Shop Marine & Co. And then lastly, at the foot of the bed, I just added in this linen tassel throw that I also found at Home Goods. For this next hack, we are actually going to be using this IKEA shelving and turning it into a table. I saw this on Pinterest, however, there were no like instructions or anything on how to make it, so I figured I would just kind of figure it out myself. So I'm also using those tapered legs as well as the hardware that you need to attach it, and then you're also going to need an electric screwdriver. So essentially, I'm just going to be installing these brackets on the outer edges right at the line right here for the shelf. And that's probably the easiest way to just install these. Seriously, it makes it so easy that there's already this little line for the shelving. So you can make sure that every side is equal just by following that little guide, which is perfect. So again, you're just gonna have to screw this in with, like I said, an electric screwdriver. And it actually goes in quite easily. Um, just make sure if you're using one of these that you check the screw length because you definitely don't want the screws to go through here. However, this pack that I'm going to link down below definitely works with this particular piece. So it's that easy to attach those brackets. Just going to repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now all you have to do to install the legs is just match up the holes and then screw them in. It's literally that simple.
had a little random late night thought to actually stain these with some wood stain. So I'm gonna stain these and let them dry overnight. I think this is my favorite Ikea hack in this entire video. I'm super pleased with the way that this turned out. However, it's gonna make a lot more sense once I style everything and show you guys kind of the purpose of this table. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I'm adding in these baskets that are made for this shelving unit. However, these are from an Ikea hack I did a while back. I just added the tassels on them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it with the tassels for today's video or if I'm just gonna simply tuck the tassels in and kind of keep them plain. I think I like the look of them in this particular space, just plain. So now that I pretty much have everything where I think I want it to go as far as the larger items, I can hang up the actual shelving unit that I plan on hanging up, which is also from Ikea. But just a reminder, if you are gonna get the shelving, you do need to get something to hang it up. That is not included when you purchase these particular items from Ikea. It actually came with these little stickers to cover up the screws, which is actually pretty handy. You can still kind of see through because it's black, but it still works better than nothing. All right, so as far as styling goes, I just added in some of my favorite records onto that shelf. This faux plant is from Target. It is seriously like five years old. If I can find it, I will link it down below. And then I just added in two of my favorite hats into the empty cubbies just because I don't really have too much to store in my bedroom. So that is that for this little area. <laughs> Over. I'm so happy that I finally have my dream bedroom and I was able to do it on a budget. I will have everything that I used in today's video linked in the description box down below for you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!